tip number one, grouping your drugs by class. It is very important that you group drugs by class. Why? If you group them by class, you actually group them by the organs or the systems that they affect. And in doing so, you know what the drug does. Let me explain further. So in the PTCE or in the EXCPT, you will be asked questions as, what is the class of the drug, okay? And students ask me, Ms. L, do we have to remember the pharmacological class or the therapeutic class? I say both, because when PTCE asks you on your test, what is the class of the drug? They're not being very specific, whether it's pharmacological class or therapeutic class. So this is how I differentiate the two. This is what I tell my students. When you say pharmacological class, it's something that you can't pronounce. <laughs> it's something that you can't pronounce or you can't picture. It's harder to pronounce or harder to picture. Say for example, beta blocker. Unless you did organic chemistry or inorganic chemistry, then it's easy for you to picture the chemical configuration of that drug. You can picture beta blocker, but you can picture anti-hypertensive, especially if you know those prefixes, roots, and suffixes that are based off Latin or Greek abbreviations. So a therapeutic class will be anti-hypertensive. Anti means against, hyper means high, tensive means tension or pressure. So to differentiate, again, pharmacological class versus therapeutic class,